Good day everyone, I am John Luis Rezon, the leader of this group and the topic that we're going to discuss today is Office of the Provincial City and Municipal Prosecution. But we, before we start, let me introduce to you my group member. Here they are. Office of the Provincial, City, and Municipal Prosecutors. Where did it come from? First, the National Prosecution Service or NPS. The NPS created presidential degree number 1275, organizing prosecution staff of the Department of Justice and the Office of the Provincial and City Fiscal, organizing the prosecution service and creating the National Prosecution Service. The law was enacted on April 11, 1978. The Department of Justice under exclusive the Department of the Government Philippines. Its main the Department of the Justice responsible the rule of the law in the Philippines. And it's the government of law agency service a legal council and prosecution arm DOH and prosecution arm agencies and this is the Bureau of Correction Bureau of the Immigration National Bureau Investigation Parole and Probation Administration Presidential Commission and the Government Public Attorney Office the Government Cooperate the Council Office the Solicitor General Land Re Registration Authority and these agencies help the Government to develop and to expand to monitor and evaluate the public in the private sector of the alternative resolution. The regional state prosecutor shall, under the control of, of the Secretary of Justice, have the following functions. A. Implement policies, plans, program, orders, memoranda, circulars, and rules and regulations of the Department of Justice relative to the investigation and prosecution of criminal cases in its region. B. Exercise immediate administrative supervision over all provincial and city fiscals and other prosecuting officers and pro provinces and cities comprised within its region. C. Prosecute any case arising within its region. D. With respect to his regional office and offices of the provincial and city fiscals within his region, he shall First, appoint such members of subordinate officers and employees as may be necessary. And approve transfer of subordinate personnel within the jurisdiction of the regional office. Second, investigate administrative complaints against fiscals and other prosecuting officers within his region and submit his recommendation thereon to the Secretary of Justice who shall after review. Submit the appropriate recommendation of the appropriate recommendation to the office of the president provided that where the secretary of justice find insufficient grounds for the filing of charges he may render a decision of dismissal third investigate administrative complaints against subordinate personnel of the region and submit its recommendation thereon to the secretary of justice who shall have authority to render a decision E. Coordinate with regional offices or other departments with bureaus or agencies under the Department of Justice and with local government and police units in the region. The next is the Provincial City and Municipal Prosecutor. The Provincial Prosecutor or the City Prosecutor shall be the law enforcer of the province or city as the case may be. He shall be in charge of prosecution of all crimes, misdemeanor, and violation of city and or municipal ordinance in the court or such province or city and shall therein 
discharge all the duties incidents to the institution of the criminal prosecution. The provincial and city prosecutor, the jurisdiction only is the municipalities of the province. Jurisdiction is the power of and or authority given by the law the court or to tribunal to hear determine a controversy. Ibig sabihin dito, kailangan yung province ay yung jurisdiction lang niya ay yung mga municipalities ng isang province. Hindi niya pwede pakalaman yung iba. Doon lang siya umiikot. Bali, yun lang yung may power siya. What are the works of Office of the Provincial, City, and Municipal Prosecutors? Investigate and are caused to be investigated all charges of crimes, misdemeanors, and violations of all penal laws and ordinances within their respective jurisdiction and have necessary information or, co or complaint prepared or made against the persons accused in the conduct of such investigation. He or his assistants should recline the sworn statements or take all evidence of witnesses summoned by Sapoena for the purpose. The provincial prosecutor or city prosecutor shall be the province or city's law officer investigate under cause to be investigated all charges of crimes, misdemeanors, violation of all penal statutes and ordinances within their respective jurisdictions and of the authority to do. So they are the one who, who investigate the crimes and violations that people do and they also have all the information of evidence against the accused person they also gather all the information to conduct an investigation function of the office of provincial city and municipal prosecutor so aside from the fact that stated on the screen the national bureau of investigation or the nbi conducts efficient detection and investigation of crime and other violations against the philippine law it liaises with other agency national and local police agencies in maintaining peace and order Moreover, he assists the Solicitor General so with the deputies in the public interest in the performance of any function or in the discharge of any duty incumbent upon the latter with territory of the jurisdiction of the firmers in which cases shall be under control and supervision of the general solicitor or the solicitor general about the conduct of the proceeding assigned to him and render report thereon.